In biology, extinction is the termination of a kind of organism or of a group of kinds, usually a species. The moment of extinction is generally considered to be the death of the last individual of the species. In the distant past, several species of animals became extinct through natural causes. But ever since human beings have been on Earth, and especially in the last hundred years, animal species have become extinct because of hunting, pollution, or the destruction of the places where they live. Here are some of the animals that identified went extinct. Pyrenean Ibex. The species was often seen in parts of France, Portugal, Spain, and Andorra, but not as much in northern areas of the Iberian Peninsula. In areas like Andorra and France in the mainland, the Pyrenean Ibex became extinct first in the northern tip of the Iberian Peninsula. The Pyrenean Ibex was one of four subspecies of the Iberian Ibex. The first to become extinct was the Portuguese Ibex, or Capra Pyrenaica lusitanica, in 1892. The Pyrenean ibex was the second, with the last individual, a female called Celia, found dead in northern Spain on January 6, year 2000. The Great Orc The Great Orc was found in the cold North Atlantic coastal waters along the coasts of Canada, the northeastern United States, Norway, Greenland, Iceland, the Faroe Islands, Ireland, Great Britain, France, and the Iberian Peninsula. The Great Orc Pinguinus impennis is a species of flightless alcid that became extinct in the mid 19th century. It was the only modern species in the genus Pinguinus. Stella's sea cow. It is a member of the order Serenia, which today consists of dugongs and manatees. Discovered in 1741, Stella's sea cow weighed about 10 tons. It fed on kelp, and lived in shallow waters around the Bering Sea. Hunted relentlessly for their meat, they died out 27 years after their discovery. The Stella's sea cow became extinct in the 18th century. Tasmanian Tiger it is commonly known as the Tasmanian tiger because of its striped lower back, or the Tasmanian wolf because of its canid-like characteristics. It was native to Tasmania, New Guinea, and the Australian mainland. Since no definitive proof of the Tasmanian existence in the wild had been obtained for more than 50 years, it met that official criterion and was declared extinct by the International Union for Conservation of Nature in 1982, and by the Tasmanian government in 1986. Passenger pigeon. The passenger pigeon or wild pigeon Ectopistes migratorius, is an extinct species of pigeon that was endemic to North America. Its common name is derived from the French word passenger, meaning passing by, due to the migratory habits of the species. The last confirmed wild bird is thought to have been shot in 1901. The last captive birds were divided in three groups around the turn of the 20th century, some of which were photographed alive. Martha, thought to be the last passenger pigeon, died on September 1, 1914, at the Cincinnati Zoo. Saber-toothed tiger. It was dominant predator on the grassland plains and open woodlands during the Pleistocene, from 2.5 million years to 10,000 years ago. As a result of climate changes and lack of food is the cause extinction of large herbivores. Paleontologists have found fossils of saber-toothed tiger that show they died off about 10,000 years ago, which was near the end of the last ice age in Canada. Saber-toothed tigers had two long sharp canine teeth that they used to stab their prey. Beiji White Dolphins, or Chinese River Dolphin There are only a handful of species of dolphins that can live in freshwater, and the Beiji Dolphin is one of them. In China living in the Yangtze River is the only place you will find them. On December 12, 2006, biologists declared the Beiji or the Chinese River Dolphin, functionally extinct. The International Authority on Endangered Species, IUCN, classifies the Beiji as critically endangered. Although there have been no confirmed Beiji sightings in recent years since year 2006. Dodo birds, or Raphus cucullatus. The dodo, or Raphus cucullatus, is an extinct species of flightless bird from Mauritius. Like many other island birds, they lost the power of flight because it was no advantage where they lived. Dodos were in the same family as the pigeon. They became extinct in the late 17th century. The dodo has become a symbol of extinction caused by the arrival of humans in ecosystems where humans had never before lived. Caribbean monk seal. 
The last confirmed sighting of the Caribbean monk seal was in 1952 at Serenilla Bank, between Jamaica and Nicaragua. In 2008, the species was officially declared extinct by the United States after an exhaustive search for the seals that lasted for about five years. Heath hen The heath hen, or Tympanucus cupido, was a distinctive subspecies of the greater prairie chicken, Tympanucus cupido, a large North American bird in the grouse family and that became extinct in the year 1932. Carolina parakeet the Carolina parakeet is an extinct species of parrot. It was the last parrot type to have lived before the European conquest in the eastern United States. It was found from the Ohio Valley to the Gulf of Mexico, and lived in old woods along rivers. Additional reports of the bird were made in Okeechobee Country, Florida, until the late 1920s, but these are not supported by specimens. It was not until 1939, however, that the American Ornithologists' Union declared that the Carolina parakeet had become extinct. The IUCN has listed the species as extinct since year 1920. The Golden Toad The Golden Toad, or Insilius periglens, formerly Bufo periglens, is an extinct species of true toads that was once abundant in a small, high-altitude region of about 4 square kilometers in an area north of the city of Monteverde, Costa Rica. It was endemic to Elfin Cloud Forest. The species has been considered extinct since around 1989 and part of the worldwide amphibian population's decline. Pinter Island Tortoise, or also known as Abingdon Island Tortoise. Scientists believe the first tortoises arrived to Galapagos 2 to 3 million years ago by drifting 600 miles from the South American coast on vegetation rafts or on their own. They were already large animals before arriving in Galapagos. The Pinta Island tortoise, or Chelonoidus abingdoni, also known as the Pinta giant tortoise, or Abingdon Island tortoise, is a species of Galapagos tortoise native to Ecuador's Pinta Island. Causes of population decline and extinction of Pinter Island tortoises during the 19th century, is that whalers and fishermen killed Pinter Island tortoises for food. Woolly Mammoth We usually think of woolly mammoths as purely Ice Age creatures. But while most did indeed die out 10,000 years ago, one tiny population endured on isolated Wrangell Island until 1650 BCE in the northern coast of Far Eastern Siberia. The massive woolly mammoth once roamed most regions of Earth. According to Atlas.com, they started to go extinct around 10,000 years ago, and totally became extinct 4,000 years ago. Black Rhinoceros or Hook-Lipped Rhinoceros The Black Rhinoceros or Hook-Lipped Rhinoceros is a species of rhinoceros, native to eastern and southern Africa including Botswana, Kenya, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Eswatini, Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Three subspecies of rhinoceros have been declared extinct, including the Western Black Rhinoceros, which was declared extinct by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, in 2011. Dire Wolf the dire wolf, Canis dirus, or, fearsome dog, is an extinct species of the genus Canis. It is one of the most famous prehistoric carnivores in North America, along with its extinct competitor was the saber-toothed cat. The species was named in 1858, four years after the first specimen had been found. Dire wolves lived for more than 100,000 years but mysteriously became extinct about 10,000 years ago, around the same time that the grey wolf started its evolution. According to Shodganga.inflivnet, and extinctanimals.weebly, it is important remember to take care of the animals we have today, and their environment. We humans are the main cause of extinction. Because of us, they lose their home just because we need to make paper, or they die because we need food. Some species have become extinct due to natural causes or human activities, it is gone forever. It is believed that each individual wild creature has a right to survive without human interference, just as each human being has the right to survive. Thanks for watching, and God bless.